Hello and welcome to AccountancyTube.com. This lecture is relevant to you if you have chosen SEMA P2 Advanced Management Accounting. Advanced Management Accounting is uh, upper level uh, management accounting of the earlier exam which you have already passed, I assume, at the earlier level of SEMA. The earlier exam was Management Accounting, but this one is called Advanced Management Accounting. Now why is it advanced? Because it has got advanced level of uh, management accounting techniques, decision making, cost accounting techniques and long term decisions as well. Now most of the topics which you will study at this exam has already been examined at the earlier level which was management accounting. Now they already although they have been examined at earlier level uh, or I will ag again explain to you the basics of them uh, bits and pieces but it will be extended version of those topics. So although they will be same, but it will not be exactly the same, it will be extension. It will be extension of the topic. Say, for example, if you see the linear programming, you might have studied there, but you will see a detailed and extended version of these here. You haven't seen long-term decision-making techniques at earlier exam. You will see a long-term decision-making here. Risk, uh, risk and uncertainty, you have studied a little bit about it. We'll see uh, extension of that topic as well. Likewise, there are quite many topics which you haven't seen um, before. We will study, uh, we'll not only really study, but we will also see an extended version of those exams. Because this is advanced management accounting, this is the last level of management accounting after qualifying this exam, and there is no other management, specific management accounting exam. So this is the only last exam. If you hate management accounting, this is the last exam of, which is specifically relevant to management accounting. Although there is no other management accounting exam, but this exam itself has a little bit relevance uh, to the next level exam, which is re re uh, related to uh, risk. So uh, uh, the bits and pieces, some of the bits and pieces which you will study in this lecture, uh, not only uh, that you will study in this uh, uh, exam, sorry, uh, will be relevant to you in the next level, which is uh, uh, the uh, paper which is relevant to risk, right? So, uh, apart from this lecture, although these lectures we provide it uh, for free, uh, but you will need to buy the uh, practice and revision kit and uh, study text because we don't provide them for free. After watching this lecture, you'll need to go uh, and look, uh, have a look at the study text. After having a look at the study text, you'll also need to do some uh, practice on the practice and revision kit so that you can make yourself uh, comfortable with the style of questions and the level at which the examiner examines the questions. Right? Uh, now, I told you the relevance of this exam with the earlier, AC, uh, earlier SEMA exam and the exam which you will see in the next level of SEMA, but there is also relevance to other qualifications, specifically if you talk about this exam. Most of the bits and pieces, most of the topics you will study in this level and this exam, Advanced Management Accounting, are relevant to uh, other ACCA uh, exams. So say for example, if you uh, think about the ACCA, uh, P5, uh, F5 exam, it is exactly uh, like uh, CMA P2 exam, Advanced Management Accounting, right? So the most of the bits and pieces, most of the topics are relevant to F5 ACCA exam. If you want to uh, go to ACCA as well, after qualifying this exam, you uh, might well be exempt from that F5 exams you need to contact to the relevant bodies for more details uh, anyway, right? So uh, also, uh, if you want to go to ICAW, say for instance, uh, you might well get exemptions there as well if you pass this exam. Just trying to, I'm just trying to tell you the importance of passing this exam and uh, so that you cannot take the exam as easy because you might think that these topics we have already seen it earlier, uh, see my exam, so no need to concentrate on it much right now uh, you will also need to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can update yourself whenever the new lectures are uploaded these lectures will be uploaded gradually so that you will need to keep an eye on the YouTube channel which is exactly like our website accountancytube.com uh, please subscribe to our channel so that whenever the new lectures and any news or exam tips are uploaded you should not miss them all right uh, we also have Facebook page where you can send uh, a direct message 
right? So it is accountantsitube.com. You can send us the message if you have any inquiries, if you want to know when the new lectures will be uploaded or any exam tips or anything else. You can also buy the uh, study text and the uh, exam uh, and uh, revision kits, which is less than market rate from our website. Just send us, e send us an email on publications at the rate of accountantsitube.com and send your inquiry with the relevant paper and the price then we will try to reply USAP, right? Now, as far as I told you that uh, this was just an uh, introductory lesson, I will tell you uh, the more topics which you are going to study in this exam in the later lessons when we look at the uh, specific topics, all right? Now, before we move to the next lessons and the next lecture, I will also ask you to please watch the, web uh, watch the video which is available on our website where it says the syllabus and the exam structure and exam format. Please watch that video so that you uh, are aware of the exam itself, how the exam looks like, and what is the syllabus consist on. Because as you know from your earlier SEMA exams that some of the exam has got, uh, sorry, some of the syllabus areas has, are more important than the others. Right? Say for example, decision making is more important and it has got more percentage of exam than the other uh, SEMA exam and uh, then the other SEMA syllabus areas say for example costing right so some of the bits and pieces some of the topics are more important than others so that's why you need to watch that video it will take you directly to SEMA official website and it will explain you in the details which syllabus areas has got more importance than the which which ones are, has got less important so even the ones which has got less percentage weightage has got equal importance you need to study them because every, uh, each and every uh, mark has got equal right to earn and uh, they will earn you, uh, they could earn you a pass mark. All right, that's it for now. It was just an introduction and overview of SEMA P2 exam, which is Advanced Management Accounting. I'll see you in the next lecture and I wish you good luck for your exam and I am looking after uh, to you in the next lecture. Thank you. Bye.